Hello, what is up you guys? Matt, and we're back with another Mercari haul. Now, I have a problem with Mercari. I, once I found it, I cannot stop buying old scents that people rave about. I can't stop. I don't know what to do. I made a video recently saying how to sell on Mercari, and the problem is I'm buying more than I am selling by like a lot. Now, the first thing I bought off Mercari is like this much embarrassing because it was available for the semi-annual sale and I walked away from it. I remember I was in the store the first day and it was there and I was like, meh, whatever. And now I look back at that meh, whatever, and I'm like, what the heck, Karina? But what I got is Sugar Cherry Crisp in the mist. Yes, I overpaid for this. I don't care, okay? I bought a bunch of lotions. I told you I'm obsessed with the lotions and this smells just like the lotion but in a body mist. I will say food type fragrances I prefer in the lotion than the mist but this one I just I couldn't not. This and the new raspberry jam donut scent are just like so good. Oh my gosh I'm obsessed. And this has less of the crust in it, I feel like. Maybe it's just me on the dry down, probably that's gonna come forth more, because it's usually the fruity notes that automatically like hit me, and then later on it kind of settles into the mo more mellow notes. If you know anything about like top notes, bass notes, whatever else, like what um, which set notes stay the longest on your skin, but it smells so, so good, and yeah. Moving on. The next one I picked up is something that everybody seems to rave about and I have never tried and again, I paid more money than I needed to for this, but this is Confetti Cake Pop. So I'm pretty sure most people have tried this and I'm here to try it now because I'm late to the game, per usual. But if I wasn't late to the game, we wouldn't have these videos, now would we? <laughs> so this smells really good. I will say, I potentially may have expected more. Don't hurt me. I just, you know what I like more than this? Cake confetti. I prefer cake confetti. It has more of like a vanilla scent. This is slightly more like bakery type smell. And I prefer something lighter like this. So if I have something that I prefer, why? But honestly, it's good. I just, it smells like a cake pop. I just wanted a teeny tiny bit more something, a little something. It's sweet, but it's like a warm sweet. I wanted like a sugary sweet for like the frosting on cake pops. Like, I don't know. It is good, don't get me wrong, but when you hear something hyped up so much, you're about to be like, I'm gonna smell this and my entire world is gonna be transformed. And it's good, it's just like, Am I being too much of a hater? No, I, d I do like it, I just, I like other scents like this better, like I prefer the cake confetti one, I prefer the whipped dream or whatever it's called from Victoria's Secret because it smells like cinnamon toast crunch, and I prefer like the new, the new bake shop line over it, so it's like, did I need this? But the packaging, like. It is so cute. Like sometimes, especially with Victoria's Secret scents, if the packaging is really cute, like it's worth it. Up next, I got an old fresh and clean. <gasps> Why? I got this because I mentioned in some of my other videos that fresh and clean used to be my favorite fragrance back in the day when it was in the old bottles, the one sec, in these bottles. This is a different scent. This is not fresh and clean, but I had this bottle of fresh and clean. I think. And that was my favorite scent ever. And then I smelled the current Fresh and Clean, and I'm like, it has the same, like, kind of genetic makeup. Genetic makeup? Is that a real thing? You know when sometimes you just say things and then they come out of your mouth and you're like, is that a real word? And it's like a real word, but it just sounds weird when you say it. Yeah. This smells good. It's just kind of, it smells like, I sprayed fresh and clean on cardboard. Like, it smells like cardboard. I might be the only one in the world that thinks that, but it's just so strange. And then this one 
So the set notes are different, let me get into that. So this is Fresh Apple and Lily, and this is just Fresh Apple and Tangerine and Sea Spray. So this has this li Lily aspect to it, which normally I'm not floral, but this smells better to me. It smells more feminine. The other one is not that feminine. This smells better. The only thing is, I can tell this is old because sometimes with really old fragrances that haven't been touched in a while, it's almost like that sugar gets separated, whatever sugary note is there, and it kind of smells like fermented something. But I like this one better, and I tell me if you know if this packaging has the same exact notes as the old, like, rectangular packaging. Otherwise, I'm going to get that one too. I can't help it. All right, on a similar note, I got a mini of Sweet and Flirty. Someone a long time ago commented on one of my videos saying that this was their favorite, like, old pink scent that they discontinued. And this I am obsessed with. The only thing is, as soon as I spray it, I'm obsessed with it, and then the scent goes away. But it's worth it to me. This has grapefruit and sugar berry, pink grapefruit specifically, not the other kind. It smells so good. Initially you get that grapefruit and it's like the best grapefruit scent ever. It's like the perfect median between like genuine grapefruit and like sugar. It smells so good and clean and I'm obsessed with this. Why did they get rid of this? Why did they get rid of this? Somebody tell me, like this is so good. I'm gonna need to find more except this was already really expensive and it's like a mini but to be fair, it's gonna be a while before I get through anything, so. Yeah, but I really, really like this. Up next, I got Fruit Crush. If you watched my other one, you saw that I got Kid Confetti and then the Rock Candy one, whatever it's called, and this is Fruit Crush. This is Raspberry Punch, Citrus Buzz, Ultimate Addiction. And I wanted to try it because the packaging of this entire collection is super freaking cute, and yeah. You know what's weird about this? And I've watched reviews of this, and everyone says that they just smell like the fruitiness of it, and I'm, I was like, I'm all in. Fruity. Yes, that's me. But there's something strange about this. I almost get this, like, moldy watermelon creamy note. But it also smells good. It's like raspberries and like watermelon juice that's been sitting out in the heat for a little bit. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I do like it. I just don't love it. And I'm not sure why. Somebody tell me like, do you get like all just like juicy fruitiness? Like, on initial spray, I'm like citrus and raspberry. Amazing. Like a citrus and raspberry like drink. And then it settles and I just get like watermelon water. I think it's me. I think I'm the problem. Okay, last but not least, I got Lush Pink Dragon Fruit. This has been raved about forever. It's in a pink bottle. It looks fruity, so I just really wanted to try it. And this was expensive too. This was hard to find. Like, some of these fragrances are like so difficult to find. This smells really good. But it has the same vibe as, like, the hibiscus one. Hibiscus. Hibiscus. What is it called? This guy, the hibiscus guava fresca. It has the same, like, vibe where it's just, like, a juicy note. Obviously different notes, but I like it. It just smells like straight dragon fruit. Like, it's just a girly, fruity, sweet scent. I like it. Do I understand the complete and utter hype? Maybe not, but it's really good. Like, if this just came out today, I would be like, yum, I'm keeping it. Like, this is great. Get it. But I'm, I wouldn't be like, oh my gosh, stock up. This can never leave. Like, you need it in your life. Like, no. Like, I don't know. It's really good, though. Yummy. But it's the same as this. This is really good, but I'm not going to be like, you need this in your life or you won't survive. Like, it's just yummy. And this is really good. Like, I'm so happy I have this in my life. It is really good. But I need to stop hyping myself up about products because then automatically you're let down because you think your entire life is going to change. Your, your bed's going to get made. Your house is going to get cleaned. Like, everything just from having a fragrance. And unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. But it is really good. This is one of my favorites that I've gotten. I think, honestly, my top favorite that I got, which is 
crazy is Sweet and Flirty. Like, I'm obsessed with that one. That's right up my alley for a fresh scent. But this one's really good too. This is a close second. Yum. All right, that is everything for this round of Mercari haul, and <laughs> there's gonna be another one. I already know because I already ordered stuff, so here we go. Also, I did wanna mention that I recently purchased the uh, Britney Spears Fantasy Perfume. I used to have this back in the day, and then suddenly I just wanted it again. I just like randomly decided that I want it back in my life, so I bought it. I found it for like a decent cheap price, at like giftexpress.com or something like that. They're having a sale on it. Maybe it's still there, so definitely check it out. But this smells really good. I wanted more fruity to it because it kind of smells like a creamy, like, almost like Twizzler or like licorice smell maybe. And I wanted it to just be sweet and flirty, but it's really good. Did I just say sweet and flirty? Did I just say the name of the pink fragrance? Come on, Karina, take a nap. But yeah, it's really nice. I like that perfume. And I don't like many perfumes, and honestly, I'm kind of obsessed with the packaging. Like, it kind of looks like, I don't wanna say cheap, but like, you know, like, I'm an adult, but I love it. I love that kind of stuff. That's my favorite kind of stuff. I literally, if the bottle is adorable, like, I'm in. It doesn't even have to smell that good, but this smells really good, so yeah. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. That was a really quick haul. I feel like I talked really fast, but I was just excited about the stuff and I wanted to put it away, and yeah. Let me know which one of these fragrances were your favorite, if you remember them, and that's everything. All right, see you guys next time.